Hello everyone, I'm CJ Wellerman. Please don't forget to subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. A number of American and international celebrities renounced their Christianity and converted to Islam during Ramadan 2023. And we will reveal their identities in a moment. But first we must acknowledge that the Holy Month also bore witness to some all too familiar scenes. With Israeli stormtroopers attacking Palestinian worshippers at Islam's third holiest site during Ramadan prayers as Muslims when mosques were set upon by radicalized Hindu supremacists across a half dozen Indian states. We continue to monitor these situations and will cover ongoing developments right here on this program as we always do. But that said, Ramadan 2023 also produced its fair share of good news and uplifting stories. As the world's Muslim population surpassed 2 billion people during the holy month of fasting, therefore continuing Islam's unstoppable trajectory as the world's fastest growing religion. And as we reported on our recent episode, Islam is enjoying unprecedented growth in unexpected places. Growing numbers of young Australian men and women who are converting to Islam. One of the world's largest religions is gaining followers from a very unlikely community. A growing number of Hispanics are changing their religion and following the teachings of Islam. The number of converted Muslims in Norway increased to at least 3,000. 4,000 personnes en moyenne chaque année, généralement des jeunes et de culture ou de foi chrétienne choisissent de devenir musulmans. We love reporting these stories because countering injustices in the Muslim world doesn't require only demonstrating how Muslim populations are often occupied, bombed, and repressed. It's also important to show how Islam delivers spiritual and emotional fulfillment to Muslims living in non-Islamic countries. I mean, did you know that more than 30,000 Americans convert to Islam every year in the United States? I didn't know this until recently, but this means nearly 1 million Americans have converted to Islam since the start of the new century, just like this new Muslim here. And through that, I was able to understand and really um, fall in love with Islam, honestly. It's a way of life. It's a beautiful way of life. It has guidelines for every single thing in life. Her story is just one of a large many, given roughly 2,500 Americans converted to Islam during Ramadan 2023, including prominent American and international celebrities who left their former Christian beliefs behind to embrace the Islamic faith, including Charverius Ward, an NFL footballer for the San Francisco 49ers who performed his Shahada during the holy month. I testify, I testify that yes. no, God. no God, but Allah, but Allah. I testify, I testify that Muhammad, El Muhammad, the messenger, the messenger of Allah, of Allah. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Award-winning Nigerian actress Mercy Agbi also converted Islam during Ramadan. She explained to reporters how she's embracing her new faith. So I've learned how to pray. Amazing. Yes, I've learned how to pray. I'm still learning. It's still a learning process for me. And I know with time I'll improve. I'm hoping to go uh, for Hajj this year Amazing. by the special grace of God, inshallah. And, you know, so it's, it's a learning process. But before we go on, we urgently need your help to expose and counter injustices in the Muslim world. So please consider supporting my journalism at patreon.com slash CJ You'll be helping me bring these stories to a broader audience. Thank you. Now back to our show. Popular Ugandan rapper and teen prodigy Felista D Superstar also converted to Islam during Ramadan. She even rapped about her conversion with a Ugandan television station. Last year, we produced an episode explaining why Muslim men are dominating boxing and the UFC. Well, Australian UFC fighter Jack Matthews converted to Islam during this year's holy month. For those who don't know, I'm, I'm Muslim. Man, I don't want to start with the story. It's We reach a certain point where it's not enough. The, the things around us are not enough to motivate us and keep us on, on the right path and keep us disciplined. There needs to be something else. And for me, it was guidelines on you know, ethics and morality and you know, obviously believing that there's something else out there. Meanwhile, in the United States, American Muslims are also noticing a sudden uptick in new converts at their mosque, 
which is remarkable given the level of anti-Islamic propaganda the American public has been subjected to since the 9-11 attacks. Most American Muslims who are reverts uh, have a similar story if they were around at not during 9-11. It's quite astonishing. And during the past few weeks, we found no fewer than a dozen videos showing Americans converting to Islam during Ramadan 2023, like this one here and this one here. And as you can see, these conversions are occurring across a wide range of racial and ethnic identities, therefore illustrating once again how racism is totally absent in the Islamic religion. We even found a video of an American converting to Islam at a mosque in the Middle Eastern country of Kuwait last week. But a story that stands out as a wow moment comes from Tacoma, Washington, where a security guard converted to Islam during Ramadan after learning about the religion while guarding his local mosque. I bear witness that there is no God, that there is no God worthy of worship, worthy of worship, except Allah, except Allah. And I bear witness, and I bear witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, is the messenger, the messenger of Allah, of Allah. Coincidentally, the exact same thing happened during last year's Ramadan, when a security guard converted after being emotionally moved by the warmth and friendliness he had received from the Muslims he had been assigned to protect. I think this is, this is a pure example of bringing somebody to Islam by just our behavior. Excuse me, I'm a, I'm a very emotional person. This is a very special night for me. Very special to be with my brothers. And I just want to say to all of you guys, you know, the love, the love that I get here is unconditional. It's unconditional. Every last one of you gentlemen who I meet at the door, who I greet at the door, from my heart, I truly mean you are my brother. When I stick my hand out to shake your hand, that is my love that I have for you. I will put my life on the line for each and every last one of you. I was converted to Islam while traveling through Muslim countries, like this Ukrainian woman here, who embraced her new religion after being emotionally moved by the Islamic call to prayer during her visit to Turkey during Ramadan last month. And not too far away, in the United Kingdom, it's reported that 5,000 British citizens convert to Islam each year, including popular YouTube personality Obeid Fox, who converted during Ramadan 2022, but made his first trip to Mecca during this year's holy month. Right now we are doing our tawaf, which if you don't know, is you go around the Kaaba, you go around it seven times. So we are now on our first or seventh. But let me finish with these final words. I'm happily predicting there will be many replies to this episode posted in the comments section below, encouraging my conversion to Islam too. Please know that I am truly humbled and flattered that such a large chunk of our audience is praying for me to become their Muslim brother. It's super touching, it's incredibly moving, and I'm deeply honored. But I really don't know what more I can say at this point in my life. Other than to say that life, as we know, is a journey, and doubt is the beginning of wisdom. And because I still hold doubt about the making and order of the universe, then maybe I'm at the beginning of something, who knows. But no matter what happens to me, be sure that I'll continue to do what I've been doing for the past almost 15 years as a journalist and human rights activist, to give a voice to voiceless and oppressed Muslim communities around the world, which has always been the sole objective of this show. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask that you please support this endeavor by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed.